This week, career and finances is our focus. In particular, the finances portion. Now there's this little company you might have heard of, um, unless you've been living under a rock for the last 10, 15 years, and maybe you don't have internet access, which is most of the world at this point. It's a little thing called Amazon. Yes, my friends, that juggernaut, it was huge before the pandemic. Now that things have gotten to the point where most of us are trying to be safe and stay inside and shop at a distance, it has become an unstoppable force. Right, So just like any other habit, purchasing things online is a habit. And I've seen all too often people, including certain people that I know, I'm not gonna name, mention any names, <clears throat> my wife, start to get a little bit haywire and a little bit crazy because it's fun to click that button, right? Just a couple clicks and all of a sudden you got a purple toaster, you got sparkly uh, underwear, you've got a big, Hulk coming in the mail that's ready to play with your children. Now, and just adding to the chaos of all the other toys that are around. So the point is, do you really need these things? This is what you need to ask yourself. So right before you're about to hit that final checkout button, I want you to ask yourself this question. Is this something that I really want, that I really, excuse me, that I really need? Because you may think that you want it, but what's it going to do? It might just add a little bit of uh, dopamine hit as soon as you get it and you go oh that's cool and then it goes to the side and then all of a sudden you're that hoarder that we see on TLC and you're that person that is just constantly in your own house surrounded by way too much stuff and you're feeling like you're overwhelmed not to mention you're draining your bank account what else could you do with that money so I want you to be thinking when you go to hit that button if I were to take this call it fifty dollars and put it into a certain stock or just the index like I've recommended on previous shows where would this money be in five years, 10 years, 20 years? It'll be in the hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, just for that little purple toaster that you didn't really need. And so I want you to start thinking that way. And these days it's easier than ever to be able to invest online. You've got these apps like Robinhood, um, Ameritrade, it's free trades these days. When I first started doing this, you had to pay for it. Now it's free. There's no reason not to get in the game. However, as I've mentioned in previous episodes, make sure that you're careful and you're not jumping in to what currently is a little bit of a frenzy. So with that said, investing long-term passive income, having your money work for instead of against you is the way versus buying things that you don't necessarily need, that you just want to feel warm and fuzzy inside for five seconds that are gonna drain your bank account. This has been your Five Core Friday. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.